Hello friends, I'm not feeling like Jim Nance today. I'm Kurt Berglund and this is classic replay baseball. It's the replay that we are doing this week with the 1981 card set from the original version of replay baseball. It features the a replay of the 1981 American League West Division Series between the Royals and the Athletics. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the first two games of this series, you've missed some good ones. So go watch those and come on back. Uh, spoiler alert, now you've had a chance. And what I will tell you is that this is game three of the series. The other two games are posted on my channel. We're doing every game of this series on consecutive days. So this is game three today. And now that you've had time to click away if that's what you're going to do, I will tell you that we are tied at one game apiece in this series. Of course, in real life, Oakland took the series in three consecutive games over the Royals. But that has not occurred here. They split the series in Kansas City and have traveled to Oakland and are ready for game number three. So for game four, which has to happen no matter which team wins today, uh, we're going to be on our own to create the lineups. And if there is a game five, same thing. So with all that said... The opposing pitchers for today's game are left-hander Larry Gura for the Royals, just as he was in real life, the Game 3 pitcher. In 1981, Larry Gura was, don't tell me, don't tell me, 11-8 and eight with a 272 ERA in 23 games. Uh, he pitched 172 innings. And he was uh, in that Tommy John family of pitchers, a soft-tossing lefty who didn't walk many, gave up some hits, but didn't walk many, didn't allow many home runs, and controlled the running game pretty well. For the Athletics in Game 3 for Billy Martin, just as he was in real life, it's Rick Langford. Langford was 12-10, and 10, uh, in 1981, with a 3.00 ERA, 24 games, and 195 innings pitched. So Rick Rick went the distance more than once. Um, so the series is tied at one. We're in Oakland for the first game of this part of the series. And I'm very glad that you're with me. Uh, the first two games have been great ones, and I expect nothing less uh, in today's game. Let's go to the starting lineups and get this game all rolling. Visiting Kansas City Royals, it's Willie Wilson leading off in left field. Frank White betting second at second base. George Brett betting third at third base. Willie Aikens betting fourth at first base. Amos Otis betting fifth in center field. Hal McCray betting sixth. He's the DH. Clint Hurdle will bat seventh. He is in right field. John Wathen will bat eighth. He's doing the catching. And UL Washington will bat ninth. He's at shortstop. For the homestanding athletics, Ricky Anderson leads off in left field. Dwayne Murphy bats second in center field. Cliff Johnson bats third. He will be the DH. Tony Armas bats fourth. He's in right field. Mickey Klutz bats Fifth, he's at third base. Kelvin Moore bats sixth, he's at first base. Mike Heath bats eighth, he's the catcher. And at bat seventh, he's the catcher. Dave McKay will bat eighth, he's at second. And Fred Stanley bats ninth, he's at short. Now, we're ready to get this rolling. Play classic replay, you just need two D6s. Willie Wilson steps in against Rick Langford to get this one a rolling. And here we go. We're underway. A three from Lankford's card and a four 
from Wilson in column one makes a seven. And that's popped up. And that's Dave McKay under it on the infield dirt. And he takes it for out number one. Now it's Frank White. Pitch from Lankford is a two on his card. It's a 16 on White's card. That makes 18. On column six, that's hit to right, and that's going to drive Tony Armas back, but he's going to have room, and that's two outs. And now it's George Brett. Brett, in 1981, hit 314 with six homers and 27 doubles. Pitch from Lankford is a fielding column three. That's hit to Mickey Klutz. And he is a four, and that's an eight. That's a 12, and Clank, he boots it. Brett's safe on the air. So there's a base runner for the Royals with two outs, and now it's Aikens. Langford the stretch and the pitch to Willie. That's a two on Langford's card. It's a four on Aikens. That makes six on column five, and he walked him. So now there's two on with two outs for Amos Otis. Langford the stretch and the pitch. That's a four, and that's a fielding column one. That's a five, and that's hit two. Fred Stanley at shortstop. Fred's a three, and he's going to plant and flip to McKay, and that will be a 6-4 third out of the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first with no score in Oakland. Larry Gura gets to face Henderson, Murphy, and Johnson. Righty, lefty, righty. In the Oakland first, the pitch is a two for Gura. It's a three for Henderson's card, and that is grounded to UL Washington. UL is going to plant and fire to Aikens for out number one. Now it's Murphy. Gura winds and delivers. That's a three on Gura's card. It's a 16 on Murphy's. That makes 19 in column six. That's going to drive... Clint Hurdle back to the track, but he's going to make the catch for out number two. And now it's Cliff Johnson. The pitch to Clifford is a three on Gura's card. It's an 11 on Johnson's card, and that's going to be hit deep. Willie Wilson to the track, to the wall, and Cliff Johnson has just left the building. It's one nothing Oakland. In the bottom of the first. Oakland fans like that one. And Gura now has to face Armas with two outs. And there's more trouble. It's a three on Gura's card. It's a 36. Hey, struck him out. That's Gura's first. But he allows a solo homer to Johnson in the first. And it's one nothing Oakland. So Langford will face McCray, Hurdle, and Wathen. Righty, lefty, righty in the top of the second. Pitch from Rick is a three, and it's a 42 on McCray's card. That makes 45 in column four. Sorry, I can count. Column three. And that is going to be a leaping catch by Fred Stanley. Look at the hops on Fred Stanley. One gone in the second, and now Clint Hurdle. Langford winds and delivers. That's a three on Langford. That's a 45. That's a 48. And that's going to drop for a base hit for Hurdle. The old lefty-righty matchup single. Now it's Waffen. Langford the stretch and the pitch. That's a two, and that's a three. That makes five in column five. Ground ball, Fred Stanley. 
Down to one knee, flips to McKay for one. The relay to Kelvin Moore is not in time. So Wathen beats the wrap, and there's two outs with Wathen at first, and now it's UL Washington. Langford the stretch and the pitch. That's a two, that's a five, that's a seven in column five, and that's a walk. Two on now, Royals with another nice chance to score. But they're going to need a hit from Willie Wilson to do it. Lankford, the stretch, and the pitch to Willie is a 4-6. That's a 1. That's grounded to McKay. And he's going to go to first and retire the side. So Lankford with a couple of base runners in each of the first two innings, but does not buckle. One nothing after one and a half. It's Klutz, Moore, and Heath. Righty, righty, righty against Gura. Pitch to Mickey is four in Gura's card. It's a 29. That makes 33 in column two for Klutz. He grounds this one to UL Washington, who goes to his right a couple of steps, plants, and throws to Aikens for out number one. Now it's Gura, three and 36, makes 39. Hey, struck him out, two gone in the Oakland second. And now it's Heath. Gura winds and delivers to Mike Heath. That's a two, that's a six, that's an eight. And column five, he walked him. Man aboard with McKay due up, Gura. Trying to get out of the second. The pitch to Dave McKay is a 2 and a 52. That's a 54 in column 3. And it's a dribbler back to Gura. He turns to throw to... Aikens and does not get him. He does not get him. It's an infield hit for McKay. And there's two athletics on now for Stanley. Gura still trying to get out of the second inning. The pitch is a three and a two, and that's a strike three swinging on a Larry Gura sinker. So with two innings in the books, it's one nothing Oakland. The Royals will have the two, three, four hitters up. White, Brett, and Aikens in inning number three. White's 0 for 1. The pitch from Lankford is a 3 and a 3, and that's a 6, and that's a strike three swinging. First strikeout for Lankford. There's one gone in the third. Now it's Brett. 6-3 is a 2 and an 18 in column 6. Hit high and deep and towards the line, and Armis is going to get there. And that's two outs in the third. Now it's Aikens. Langford's only allowed one hit, but there's been four runners left on base. This is grounded to Fred Stanley. He's going to make that play to Kelvin Moore. And it's a 1-2-3 third inning for Lankford. And Lankford is maybe, has maybe righted the ship and under control now. Top of the order coming up for the athletics. It's Henderson, Murphy, and Johnson. Girl winds and delivers. It's a three, and that's a two, and that's a strike three. Swinging four strikeouts for Gura now. And Dwayne Murphy comes to the plate. Murph is 0 for 1. The pitch is grounded to Washington. UL's got it and throws to Aikens for out number two. And now Cliff Johnson. Girl winds and delivers. That's a four. That's a 16. That's a 20 in column two. 
the 20 in column two, center field. Here comes Otis, and he's got it for out number three. We've played three complete, and it's one nothing athletics. Top of the fourth, Otis, McCray, and Hurdle coming up for the Royals. Three from Lankford and a 42 from Otis makes 45. And it's a comebacker to Langford. He's going to turn and throw to Moore, and that's one gone. One hit allowed by Langford in three and a third. One hit, one walk, two walks, and one better reach by error. Nobody has crossed the pay station. Langford's pitch to McCray is a 4-3. That's a 7. That's grounded to Klutz. Klutz is a 4. That's an 11. And he fires to first and just barely nips McCray. Two gone in the fourth now. Nobody aboard, and it's Hurdle. Clint is one for one. He has. The Royals only hit. The pitch from Langford is it's two and a nine, and that's an 11 in column six. That's going to be a base hit to center field. Murphy collects it and fires it back in. So Hurdle's aboard with two outs, and now Waffen. John is 0 for 1. There's two outs in the top of the fourth. It's 1 0 Oakland. The pitch, 3 and a 42, makes 45 in column 3. Leaping catch again by Fred Stanley. Look at the hops on Fred. Something that's never been said before about a man named Fred. Big time hops. All right, bottom of the fourth. Armas, Klutz, and more. Righty, righty, righty against Gura. Three and 15. That makes 18 in column one. Line single to left. Willie Wilson gonna be tested here. Uh, air rating is a four, but he's gonna make that play and hold Armas to a single. So the leadoff man is on in the bottom of the fourth for Oakland. Now it's Klutz. Gura the stretch and the pitch to Mickey Klutz. That's, they're playing halfway, so that would be a seven to first base. That's Akins. He's a three, that makes it a 10. It's a slow hit ground ball. They're gonna take the sure out. Akins will take it himself to first, and Armis advances to second on the dribbler. Now it's Kelvin Moore. Kelvin struck out in the second. He's 0 for 1. Armis in scoring position now. Gura is bearing down, and the pitch is a 2 on Gura's card. It's a 2 on Kelvin Moore's card, and that's grounded to Frank White. He's going to flip to Aikens for out number two as Armis advances to third. He's only 90 feet away now, but there's two outs, and Heath is at the plate. Mike Watt in the second. Gura the stretch and the pitch. It's a two. It's a 30. It's a 32 in column three. Lined liner toward left. Is it going to hold up for Wilson? Yes, it is. He's going to make the catch, and that retires the Athletics in the fourth. So, Gura's made one mistake in the game, and that is the difference. He hung a curve to Cliff Johnson, who hit it out of here in the first. It's one nothing Oakland. We go to the top of the fifth. It's UL Washington, Willie Wilson, Frank White, 9-1-2.
for the Royals. That's a six, that's a two, and that's a 36. And that is strike three swinging. Second K for Langford. There's one down in the fifth. Now it's Wilson. 0 for two for Willie. A three and a five makes an eight in column two. He pops it up. In foul territory is Dave McKay, and he puts it away for out number two in the fifth, and now it's White. Langford throwing a two-hitter. Pitch to Frank. Three and a 35 makes 38 in column one. Ground ball, Fred Stanley. He picks that and fires to Kelvin Moore for the out. And that retires the Royals in the fifth. We're halfway through this one. one nothing Oakland. In the bottom of the fifth, it'll be McKay, Stanley, and Henderson, 8-9-1. Gurr has only allowed three hits. The pitch, and McKay's got one of them. The pitch to McKay is a four and an 11, that's a 15 in column two. Base hit center field right through the box. Amos Otis is going to collect that one and throw it back in and now it's Fred Stanley. Stanley struck out in the second. Gurr out of the stretch, checks McKay. The pitch to Fred Stanley and Stanley's gonna lay one down. Uh, it's a 10. It's going to the pitcher. The pitcher's fielding is a 3. That's a 13. He gloves it and turns to throw. It's a 6. Oh, and he makes the play. So Gurra's bunted back to Gurra. He turns and throws to Aikens, and that will retire Stanley as McKay moves up to second base now for Ricky Henderson. Murphy is on deck. A's with another chance, another runner in scoring position. Gura the stretch and the pitch to Ricky. It's a 1-5, it's a 3, it's a 2. Hey, struck him out. That's strikeout number 5 for Gura on a sinker. Two gone now, and Dwayne Murphy, yep. Murph is 0 for 2. McKay still at second base. The pitch to him is a 2 and a 3 and a 5 in column 3. It's to right field, but not deep. Here comes Hurdle, and he'll catch it for out number 3. We played five complete, and it's one nothing Oakland. This game plays beautifully. Look at the smooth game play. Outstanding parts, outstanding card quality. Brett, Armas, and Otis. I'm uh, sorry, Brett, Akins, and Otis. Can't read my writing. Three, four, five hitters for the Royals in the sixth. Langford has a lead, but it is a slim one at one to nothing. The pitch to Brett is grounded to Fred Stanley. He's going to glove that one and fire to Kelvin Moore. And there's one down in the six. Two hits only for the Royals so far, both by Clint Hurdle. Aikens is 0 for 1 with a walk. The pitch to Willie. It's a 3. It's a 16. That's a 19 in column 2. To right field, but right in his tracks, it's Tony Armas. And there's two down. Now it's Amos Otis. 3 and a 1. And a strikeout number 3 for Langford. We go to the bottom of the six. Langford has retired seven in a row. And two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 13 out of the last 14 Royal hitters. Bottom of the six coming. 
Three, four, five hitters for Oakland coming. Johnson, Armas, and Klutz. Gura winds and delivers. Two and a five, and that's a seven in column three. Base hit left field, pulled just past UL Washington's outstretched glove, and Johnson's aboard now with his second hit. Armas is one for two. He's at the plate. Gura looking for a double play ball. The pitch, the three, and a three. That is strike three swinging on a Larry Gura sinker. Now with one out, it's Klutz. Johnson still at first. Sixth inning, a little too early to pinch run. The roll is a seven. Hit to short, that's Stanley. Stanley, I'm sorry, it's UL Washington. That's a nine. He gloves it, goes to white for one. The relay to Aikens is not in time as Klutz beats the wrap at first. With two outs, he's on. Johnson eliminated 6-4 on the fielder's choice. Now it's Kelvin Moore with two outs and Klutz at first. Gura's pitch is grounded to George Brett. He's going to go the short way to White to retire the side, and the sixth inning is done. So the Athletics get a leadoff batter on, but they can't score him. We've played six. It's one nothing Oakland. Langford will face McCray, Hurdle, and Wathen in the top of the seventh. This one is grounded to Dave McKay. He flips to Kelvin Moore, and there's one out. Langford is eight outs away from a game three shutout. Here's the man with both Royals hits, Clint Hurdle, the pitch. And this one is going to be trouble. Or it's not. It's to right field. Charging hard is Armas. And he's got it for out number two. And I'll bring up Wathen. 0 for 2 for John today. Langford in control. The pitch to 2. And a 3 makes a 5. In column 6, ground ball Stanley. Fred's got it and fires to Moore, and that retires the Royals in the seventh. It's time for the seventh inning stretch in Oakland, where it's 1-0 athletics over the Royals. Now it's Heath, McKay, and Stanley, 7-8-9 batters for Oakland. Gura winds and delivers to Heath, who's 0-1. Two and a 20. That's a 22 in column three. Right field. Here comes Hurdle. He's got it for out number one. Now it's McKay. McKay is two for two. And Gura's pitch. That's a four. That's a 16. That's a 20 in column two. To center field, but not deep. Amos Otis is there for out number two. And now it's Fred Stanley, who's 0 for 1 with a bunt on the day. That's a 2. That's a 3. That's a 5 in column 3. To right field, a looper. Here comes Hurdle, and he's got it. Six in a row retired for Gura. It's a legitimate pitcher's duel, except for Cliff Johnson's home run in the first. one nothing Oakland as we go to the eighth. Langford will face Washington, Wilson, and White. Nine, one, two hitters in the eighth. He has retired ten in a row. Langford winds and delivers to Washington. Hayes. Struck him out. That's strikeout number four for Rick. He's five outs away from a game three shutout. Wilson's 0 for 3. The pitch is grounded to McKay. 
He gloves it and throws to Moore, and there's two outs in the eighth. Langford just dominant right now. White at the plate, 0 for 3 with Brett on deck. 3 and a 35 makes 38 in column 1. As grounded to Fred Stanley. He gloves it and fires to Kelvin Moore for out number 3. And Langford now has 13 in a row retired. As we go to the bottom of the 8th. One nothing Oakland. Gura has been nearly as good. Langford's allowed two hits. Gura's allowed five, but one of them was a long one to Cliff Johnson. One, two, three hitters for the Oakland A's in the eighth. It's Henderson, Murphy, and Johnson. Henderson's 0 for 3. The pitch to Ricky. This one is grounded to UL Washington. He gloves it and throws to Aikens for out number one. Seven in a row retired by Gura. Murphy up now. Murphy is 0 for 3. Johnson's on deck. There's one out. The pitch is a 2 on Gura's card. It's a 3 on Murphy's card. That's a 5 in column 3, and that is hit to right field. But Clint Hurdle is going to make this catch. Trout number 2, and that's 8 in a row retired for Gura. Now it's Johnson. 2 for 3 for Cliff. The pitch. is grounded to Kelvin Moore, who's going to flip to, I'm sorry, it's grounded to Willie Akins, who's going to flip to Gura for out number three. And that completes eight innings of play for both teams. We go to the ninth. one nothing Oakland. Royals have to score, or the A's will lead this series two games to one. Brett, Akins and Otis, three, four, five hitters. Brett's 0 for 3, but he did reach on an error by Mickey Klutz in the first inning. The pitch from Lankford to Brett is a 3 and a 22. That makes 25 in column 2. And that's grounded to Klutz. He's going to plant and fire to Kelvin Moore, and there's one out. Now it's Akins. Langford has retired uh, 14 in a row now. Pitch to Akins. It's a three, it's a two in column three. Center field, looper. In comes Murphy running hard and he's got it. Two outs, last chance saloon for the Royals. Amos Otis, 0 for three. Langford close to closing out a one nothing shutout. Here we go. It's a three. It's a 42. That's a 45 in column two. Comebacker to Langford. He's going to take it to first base himself, and that will end the ball game. Complete games for Langford and Gura. It's a one nothing shutout for the Oakland right-hander. The line score for the visiting Kansas City Royals, no runs on two hits, and they committed no errors. The Athletics, one run on five hits, and they committed one error. The winning pitcher, Langford, he went the distance. The loser, Gura, he went the distance. The Athletics take game three, one to nothing. They can eliminate the Royals tomorrow uh, in game four, again in Oakland. Hope you'll join me for that. This is Classic Replay Baseball. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kurt Berglund. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more 
baseball sim action. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.